Mr. Sibal, you've said that there is a scam here. There will be corporates who will say, look, when the electoral bond scheme was devised by your friend, the late Arun Jaitley, it was devised to try and bring transparency or encourage corporates to give <laughs> money. No, no, just a minute. To yeah. give money by check. It was designed to give, encourage corporates to give money by check. As it turned out, the system was opaque and led perhaps to many, many to believe, many of us to believe that it was heavily biased in favor of the government. Now the scheme is being scrapped. In your view, in your view, Mr. Sibyl, I wanted to know specifically what, according to you, is the scam involved? Well, the scam is complete, and I'll tell you why. When amendments were carried out in the Companies Act, prior to this, uh, before the amendments took place, the law was that any company which is making a profit can contribute up to 7.5% of its average profit in the last three years to the political party. No problem. Now they, they changed all that and said that even a loss-making company can contribute as much as it likes to the political party in power. Mm -hmm. And the seven and a half cap, limit percent cap, was done away with. So you could contribute any amount of money, right? What do you think this was done for the purposes of in ensuring that there is no cash? Or do you think it was done for the purposes of ensuring that corporate sector funds the BJP big time because they were in power? I'm just giving you one example. And so there was then an income tax uh, uh, amendment to the Income Tax Act saying that you don't have to disclose it as part of your income, so you don't pay tax on it. And number two, they amended the Representation of People's Act saying that because it is over 20,000 20, 20, rupees, the, the, you don't have to tell the election commission as to who funded it. If I give a check of 20,000 rupees, today I can, mm -hmm. uh, to a political party, and do, don't do it through the electoral bond process, that 20,000 rupees will be disclosed by the election commission. It will come on their website. I'll have to show who gave, who gave the money. But this was all done to have the corporate sector fund the BJP. Let's not make no bones about it. That was the intent of the scheme. The scheme mm -hmm. was not to get rid of cash, as you are saying, but that's an assumption that you are making without, making without any basis. It was a scheme to fund the BJP, and they were successful in amassing 6,566 6, crores during this period of time since 2018. Okay, can I? Can and, I? And, and, and yet you are asking me questions that the assumption was to clean up the system. Okay, I want to therefore ask you in conclusion, Mr. Sibal, what next? All the disclosures are to be made up. Uh, uh, SBI has to give it to the election commission, which has to put it on their website. Do you believe this will expose the quid pro quos that you believe are at the heart of this scheme? Are you confident of that? Of course. It has to happen because nobody, I mean, that's, the, that's in fact a comment that the Supreme Court has made in its judgment. That nobody, no, you see, less than 20,000 rupees, there's no question of any quid pro quo. Mm -hmm. Above 20,000 rupees, non-electoral bonds, no question of quid pro quo. But when there are electoral bonds where the contributions are 2 crores, 3 crores, 5 crores, 10 crores, 15 crores, obviously you can make a phone call and get access to the minister. You can okay. get an easy meeting. You can get, uh, so, you know, put so your... So you're telling me... You you're know, telling it's obvious. Me. I mean, I, you know, we, we, are not, we, are, we are not babes in the wood. We are not babes in the wood that we don't know what this is all about. Okay, so you're confident that as a result of these disclosures, the various quid pro quos over the last five years will come out, and therefore you believe that's the real value, in a way, of this judgment. Am I correct? No, but they may well come out, but the ED will not do nothing about it because it happens to be quid pro quo of the party in power. And I'm afraid they will go against those, those opposition governments where they may, they may allege an quid pro quo and get the ED after them. So therefore, what's going to happen is as long as the ED uh, is not controlled, as long as this PMLA and the disaster which, 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 which has resulted in the powers of the, uh, under right. the PMLA of the ED, unless that is dealt with, I think that we will have another, uh, you know, we'll, this, this judgment will be used, in fact, for just the, uh, for, for targeting, again, the opposition people. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.